Hey guys, Station X here, and today I wanted to do a little bit of a different video today. Based off the title and thumbnail, you kind of know what it is we're talking about, but uh, I have five PlayStation games and five Xbox games, and I kind of wanted to do like a console wars thing, I guess, in a sense. I don't have a favorites in this kind of thing, mainly because I just, I just like collecting games. And I mean, based off the channel's history, I, I'm kind of a Nintendo guy myself. I actually did start on PlayStation when I first started gaming, and then a good chunk of my stuff was on Xbox. And it wasn't until more recent years I really started going head deep into major Nintendo stuff. But of course, all three was mixed around during my childhood. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to really, out of the pile that I have here, see what had better games here, the Series X or the PS5? Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Starting with the PS5 games, of course, I'm gonna start from the bottom here. We have Power Wash Simulator. This one's pretty fun for me because when I looked at it, I thought this was kind of funny because I've seen a lot of people do videos on this and I always thought it was a fun time, especially when you're just chilling out with friends and you're just kind of talking. It's kind of a nice cozy game for me. So that's why I picked it up. Here we have AEW Fight Forever. Now, as you guys know, I am a pretty big wrestling fan. And it has been a while since we've had like a true like wrestling game that's not a WWE game. And specifically, this one's different because this is not like a simulated game. This is more so a arcade style game in the sense of like No Mercy, where it's not trying to be realistic, so to speak. Now, I am a big fan of the realistic style, but I, I think it's nice to take a break from it every once in a while with this. And it's got a lot of very popular wrestlers on there as well so it's not that's also something that's pretty good call of duty vanguard now i already have this game on series x because i have all my call of duties i buy them every year on the xbox mainly but i also have been trying to like catch up on my playstation versions as well because i did actually start call of duty on playstation back when i was still a playstation guy on the ps3 this one's not very good if i'm gonna be honest with you this uh, the story is very lackluster the multiplayer is just modern warfare but with world war ii on it and unlike world at war when it did that same thing this is not good with my team and enemy team being kind of like the main laughing point for me <laughs> but uh, and then of course the zombies too is just not that great either i mean this is probably one of their lowest efforts when it comes to call of duty we have gran turismo 7 this one's another one where i i i like the gran turismo series i do prefer forza a little bit more but I, I do like Gran Turismo 3 and 4. Those are kind of like my favorites. But, uh, you know, th this is just kind of more completing the Gran Turismo collection as I have most of them. So this kind of puts me further into completing it. And lastly, Spider-Man 2 for the PS5. Now, this thing, I mean, as you can see, I, I, I couldn't wait to open it after the video. I, I, I wanted to play it as soon as I got it. And I platinum this thing already. Like this thing is just amazing. I don't like going too descriptive into games just to avoid spoiling stuff. But I gotta say, if you really like the first game and you like Miles, this is definitely gonna be another like awesome Spider-Man game for you. But I will say there were some minor things I didn't like, but I mean, obviously it didn't stop me from in really enjoying this game. This is a fantastic one. That is it for the PlayStation section. Now for the Xbox, we have WWE 2K23. Now I did enjoy last year's, which was 22. So this kind of mostly being more of the same thing. I do like the new direction they were going with. With 2K20, that was kind of like really bad. They took that year break, May 22, it was pretty good. And I'm hoping this will kind of continue that. They have like, some features that I've liked that they brought back, like the like the war games mode and the having the ability to hold two titles, like that's pretty neat. Plus you get to do John Cena's matches, which is pretty nice. Another Call of Duty. Now, I've actually been using the PS5 version because I got like a digital code on a previous review that I did for the PlayStation 5 Slim. You can check that out in the description below, but yeah, like this one is another one I'm not a big fan of, and there's a reason why I haven't opened this version, because I would have been playing this for the multiplayer. But uh, like honestly, the multiplayer I tried out on PlayStation, it's not like horrible. It's basically a more improved 
Modern Warfare 2, which is, you could say what you will about that. Zombies is, I didn't even try because it's just like, I don't care at this point. And then the campaign, which is always the first thing I play, is horrendous. Uh, honestly, I'd rather play Vanguard's campaign than this. I, I, I just hate it with a passion. Not a big fan of this one in particular. Assassin's Creed Mirage. You can see, there's another one I did open right away. It's not the last one. But, I mean, uh, I, I, this one I did not get a chance to finish it. I'm still in the middle of playing it. So, again, I'm not going to go too much into it. But, I mean, I just really like Assassin's Creed. And one of the, like, the three games I buy every year for Xbox is Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, and WWE. Or at least when they were doing yearly releases for this. Now they've been doing uh, every two years, which is nice. This one in particular, like the standard edition is 50 bucks, which is kind of odd because even if they want to say it's like it's smaller, it's not as expansive as Va uh, Valhalla or the other ones, you t I, uh, typically they would always charge it at least 60, if not $70. So I mean, I had to commend them for at least not charging a full 70 on like a not as full game in comparison to Valhalla. But I mean, this one's fantastic. So far from what I've played, it's really good. When we have Mortal Kombat 1, this one I played through the story and a bit of multiplayer. I do, en I did enjoy it. I, I, I didn't like it as much as 11 uh, to, to say. I did, I did enjoy the story a little bit more on that one, but I mean, honestly, it's not too bad. I just thought it was kind of, it, it was kind of getting goofy at the end with the, uh, the ending, which I don't want to get into again to spoil, not to spoil it, but, uh, the ending was a bit goofy for me, but I mean, some people really like the goofiness of uh, Mortal Kombat. So, I mean, that's here or there. I mean, it's still a fun game. The DLCs are coming too, which I think Omni-Man and by the time of recording this, uh, Omni-Man is out and Quan Chi is, had just been announced like revealed to be coming soon. So that's cool. But we're also getting, uh, Takeda, we're getting Peacemaker, we're getting Homelander, like, those, like, I'm just excited for the rest of the DLC season, but, yeah, this one, pretty fantastic. Last up is LEGO 2K Drive. This one, I haven't even gotten a chance to play yet, just because there was just other stuff in the way, but, I mean, this one, I'm a big LEGO guy, and I just thought it was kind of weird that, like, 2K made a driving game for LEGO, and, I mean, I'm pretty excited to finally get my hands on this. I also did get the, I wanted to get the Switch version personally, but you know, th that one at first was a digital only code in the case. So I was just like, not going to do that. Now they did make a Switch version that has a physical cartridge. So I might end up picking that up and just using this for the fact that it comes with a buildable car because this one has like a Lego set in it. So that's pretty cool. And it does have some DLCs too, so maybe I might, you know, actually play this version instead. Who knows? I I know I'm gonna play it at some point, but yeah, this one is, uh, you know, pretty wacky one. It's more on like the uh, weird side for me because of the nature of it. I think I don't know. That's it for Xbox. Now bringing them all back here, we could see all of them together. Basically, from this pile, my favorite for Xbox would have to be so far Assassin's Creed Mirage because even though I haven't fully finished it yet. This is a fantastic game for the Xbox. And I mean, you could also buy for PlayStation. And I understand that a lot of these aren't really exclusive to Xbox. But still, I mean, I still enjoy Xbox enough where I will buy these games for Xbox over PlayStation. So there's that. And of course, I mean, Spider-Man 2 has got to be the favorite for this one. I mean, this will just be my my personal bias but i just really love spider-man and even when spider-man had bad games i still enjoyed myself but despite me having a bias for it, it's definitely not a bad spider-man game this one is fantastic i thought i even platinum this thing is just awesome to me i i mean like i i just really enjoyed it as you could tell but if i had to pick between these two which one is the best one I think the winner would be Spider-Man 2. But here's where I want to leave it up to you guys, the audience. What do you think, out of these games here, these five for Xbox and PlayStation, which one's the best and which one do you think won out in this video, Xbox or PlayStation? Let me know in the comments below what you think. And just personally tell me what do you think is better, Xbox or PlayStation? I, have a, I probably have a feeling on what's going to win, but you know, it's nice to hear people's opinions in there. Plus, if you enjoyed the video and want to support my content even further, a like and subscribe always helps the channel out. I've been Station X, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You give
Giving me wind and rain You're some kind of bird 